Good morning, everyone. Michael e. Chave here from the Morning Coffee Review Series, here today to give you a quick tip. I know it's been a while, um, but I have come up with something that I'm going to show everyone. It is overlaying pages from a different method that is not the traditional one that you would use with the command of overlay. Because traditionally, you would go to document, overlay pages. I love this command. The only time that I wouldn't use this is when things aren't aligning. Sometimes the align by points isn't efficient. Um, so I'm going to show you a different way today. I learned also an additional way to do this on the morning coffee review as well, using some commands that I didn't know existed, but we will go through and show you this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and open up a PDF, something that I need to overlay here to check the differences between two PDFs themselves. So what I'm going to do is open up a PDF. I'm going to go to the thumbnails panel here, and then we're going to go through and run this as well. One second here, reopen this. Um, so from the thumbnails panel, I have my existing PDF. Now let's say we wanted to overlay a page to see the differences between both. Um, what you can do is one of two ways you can go through and insert a page. So I'm just going to right click here from the thumbnails panel, and then I'm going to go through and insert this new revised PDF, right? This is the new PDF, whichever way you want to do this is completely up to you. Um, but I'm going to do this one, the new PDF, the old PDF. I want to bring the new content from this PDF to this existing PDF. Um, one way to do this is you can go to this documents, right click, and then from here, you can go through and do color processing and you can change colors from red. Um, I learned this on the MCR from Liz. You can go through and actually change this to colorized. Um, this is a great way. And what you can go through and do is one second. I want to colorize just this one. So documents colorize just this page. Thank you. And then I'm gonna right click, copy page as a snapshot. And then you can go to the next page, right click and paste. Now I learned this trick. So instead of just pasting it out in the middle of nowhere, I'm gonna delete it. There is the hotkey of control shift V, which pastes it in the exact same spot. Wow. So as long as the viewports are actually aligned, you can go through and make sure that it is going to align. Now I'm gonna change this to a multiple, multiply, multiply, sorry, um, up here in the blend mode because it does have a screen on top of it and I won't be able to see the content below. So all I have to do is change this blend mode to multiply here and now I can see the content behind it. Um, let's say if the viewport's moved a little bit. This is kind of what I'm referencing to. The do uh, document overlay pages would have worked fine with this because the viewport's aligned. But for this instance, let's say they didn't. The great thing about this pasting the entire item is that you can move this around. So let's say you know the content behind it was down to the right a little bit because they moved the viewport. You can then bring this back up and align it to the correct location. Just adding for that a little bit more um, visualization where it's not completely changing everything and it's actually moved over, I apologize, um, to here. So then you don't have to worry about, you know, it didn't align. How am I going to go through and see the content, moving things around a little bit easier to quickly move the content as a snapshot. Um, the other way is to delete this and not change this color process. So I'm going to go back through and color process and change this to, um, colorize. Can I do that again? No grayscale, black and white. There we go. So all I have to do with this one now is you can do the screenshot or sorry, the, um, how did I forget this command? The snapshot G and I want just this part. So you can grab just part of the content, go to the next page. And again, this lovely hotkey that I learned on the morning coffee review is control shift V paste in the exact same spot. So control shift V there we are. And again, I can go through and change this to multiply and I can right click on this and change the colors and do the same thing for colorizing this specific area that I wanted to go through. And again, if the viewport was moved, it is a snapshot and you can move it around. So this is a new way that you can go through and overlay pages and it may not be new for some folks, um, but maybe a little bit different of a manner that you wanted to go through and overlay PDFs. 
Thank you for tuning in today for my quick tip. If you do have any more quick tips that you want to um, have me go through, please comment in the comment area below. Like and subscribe. I will be posting these more uh, frequently than I have been. But again, thank you all for tuning in today. I appreciate you and tune in next time.